Okay, we want to show the Ozark Trail 20 by 10 cabin tent in all its magnificent glory in the field, as it were. We're camping. This is not the first time we've camped with this tent. This is the first time we've camped with it with an air conditioner. We bought this tent a few years ago with the intent of using air conditioner in the summertime, and we are in the summertime. Um, it has two vents on either end. I don't know if that's because you need to use two at the same time or whatever, but there are two vents. Um, and this was specifically designed for an air conditioning unit, a, a wall unit. Um, so we're gonna show that first. We're gonna show it without. This is the vent that doesn't have the AC in it. Just wanna show it how it looks. You got the elastic here. You got the, the fly here that prevents the rain from getting into the, the either the tent or the top unit. We tent, uh, top of the unit. We tested this last night. We had a nice big rainstorm. Um, but that's uh, this is about 12 inches off the ground right here. This lip, and this holds a nice sized unit, not a 25,000 PTU, but nice sized unit. It works. Um, the people at Ozark Trail designed this tent just with the unit in it, uh, the ability to put the unit in it, the, the, the vents. Um, but they didn't take into account, I guess if you're in New York or Michigan or even in Virginia somewhere, this would be okay. But you're in Florida. And if you want to know what it's like to camp in Florida in the summertime, put your water heater up as high as it'll go. Turn your shower on hot. Let it run for 15 minutes with the door completely shut, no vents, then go inside. That's what we're in right now. My glasses are fogged up. We're, we're drenched. And this is noon on a Sunday in the middle of summer. That's what Florida is. So we have to compensate. And then what we did, we put a nice 10 mil uh, thick tarp on the top. Again, this was the first time we've done this, so this is more or less experimental. We're going to, next time, I'm gonna use my uh, 20 by 30 tarp, cover the whole thing like we do when we're in the mountains uh, to, to, to put the heat in, to keep the heat held in. This is the same principle. Although this worked pretty well last night, it could have worked better. So, you have to have something more than just this, which is probably not even two mil, nylon, tent material, to hold the air in or anything in. And the well tents of this design, this has a screen. It's all screen, all the way through a screen on the top, and you have the rain fly over it. So you just have air flowing all the way through the thing. All the windows, of course, are up. And again, this didn't do a bad job for us last night. So we're going to show the outside. Part of the reason I'm doing this is because I looked the other day to see how to best make this work. I couldn't find a single instructional video on it. Um, and this isn't a professional job by any stretch, but it. It's working, and I didn't really have to do too much ghetto ringing, ringing to make it work. It, it works on its own. Um, this is an 8,000 BTU uh, frig Frigidaire AC. Um, you see that the elastic part of the uh, opening has come and sealed this part all the, almost all the way down. There's only about that much that isn't sealed, and we're gonna go inside in a moment and see it. Uh, we've tied these down to the back. The coils are still pumping out the back air, the hot air out. I got it sitting on a milk crate, which is 12 inches off the ground. I'm gonna design something out of probably out of wood. It's gonna be more efficient for that. We had to shim it a little bit over here to, to make it tip backwards. That's another part of the experimental process, of the learning process, if you will. And something that's also going to uh, improve over time is this. We, we stuffed this up underneath here. This is an old piece of uh, tent material that we stuffed up in there to close the, the gap. And we'll show you that gap in a moment when we go inside. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty well, you know, actually designed for that. You just have to make your own modification. So we're gonna go inside. Excuse the mess. I'm living in here now. Okay, this is the most interesting part. Of course, as you know from having a wall unit and air conditioning, the way that it works is you have to seal it. You would, you would seal it with the, the, wind, wind, uh, the window itself and the sash on, underneath, 
and with the uh, the extenders that come out come with the unit on either side and you would stick that in your window well it's the same principle here you have to create a seal and they've designed part of the seal well they've designed the whole seal you just have to make it work and you can see this 8000 BTU unit fits pretty darn well in here there's a little gap here a little gap on the side and a little gap on the top which is basically sealed by the outer fly that we saw earlier but what isn't sealed is this and if this wasn't sealed as small as that is and it can get even bigger as you can see there if it wasn't sealed here like we had it from the outside it wouldn't work it wouldn't work hardly at all it has to be sealed so that the air coming from inside the tent goes through here cycles back out cold um, so that's at least a little bit of an idea of the practicality of the unit this covers 350 uh, square feet we have 200 square feet in here but again it's all tent and as you can see here this is where the tarp ends and you have this tent material so well, next time we do that we're going to fix that we're going to tarp it completely covered and i think that'll give us much better uh, insulation so from the beautiful with the coochie state forest along with the coochie river in specifics the uh, part of the river known as silver lake we are out